Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. So I am so excited for today's project because my baby sister, the youngest in my family, I'm one of seven siblings, my youngest sister is graduating from college next week and she asked me to make a graduation dress for her. So I'm so excited about this project. She had a lot of ideas for what she wanted and my goal today is to make that happen. So we'll see how it goes. I have some really beautiful fabric to show you. It's so, so pretty and different than anything I've ever worked with before. So let me just show you really quickly. Okay, are you ready for this? Oh my goodness. I don't know how well this is going to show up on the camera here, but I will definitely put close up clips because this is a absolutely beautiful pearl embellished tool that we got from Joanne Fabrics. So my sister Jessica and I went shopping together to pick out the fabric and she had seen this one quite a while ago and just really wanted something made from it. So I'm so excited to work with it today. So that is the main focus of the dress. And then we got two other fabrics. Actually, one of those I think was in there as a bundle. One just like mesh fabric to add some layers to the skirt and also a matte satin to be the lining fabric. So I cannot wait to get started on this. The pattern that she decided to go for for this project is a big baby doll style. So she asked me to use this vintage Laura Ashley pattern, which if you've watched my channel for a while, you've seen me make twice now. Um, and it was nice because I could just have her try on the dress that I had already made so we could take note of any fit adjustments. And then we are good to go with the pattern. So we're going to go for the short, short sleeved version and then make it just nice and floaty with the tool overlays. So I'm so excited to get started on this today. And I'm also very excited because today's video is sponsored by Anna Luisa Jewelry. And you guys know that I love love Ana Luisa jewelry. I wear their pieces all the time, but I'm particularly excited to be working with them today because I was able to let my sister Jessica pick out some beautiful jewelry pieces to go with her dress. So we will show you guys those later in the video. But for now, let me just take you through the pieces that I am wearing today. So I have on some of my favorite, favorite earrings, these little moon, and then this is a star on this side pearl drops and then these pearl studs are also from Anna Luisa as well as this sweet little necklace. This is one of my favorites. It's like Victorian almost. And then I also have on my pearl bracelet that has been one of my most worn pieces recently. I've never been much of a bracelet person, but I love this. So I've been wearing it all the time and it does coordinate so nicely with today's project. So I'm excited to show you the pieces that Jess picked out as well once we get the dress put together. But thank you so much to Anna Luisa Jewelry for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out at the link in the description box and we will talk more about them in a little bit. So I'm making this project a little bit at the last minute because she does graduate next week. I was out of town in London last week if you've watched my recent vlog. So I'm just now able to get around to getting started on this, but my goal is to make about 90% of this dress this evening. It is a beautiful evening and I just want to really get into the groove and work on some sewing for a good long time. So I'm going to start by cutting out all of my pieces and take you along for the whole process. Okay, so a lot of cutting later. I finished cutting out the entire dress in all of the layers, and I'm going to get started with the bodice. So you can see here, I have a layer of the satin fabric as well as the embellished tool. And the way I'm planning it to sew this together is to treat these as one layer as I sew. So I refer to this as an inner lining. That's what my mom taught me. And so that will just make everything a lot more simple. Now, one thing that I want to be very careful not to do as I work on this dress is to melt the fabric. So I have my iron on a very low setting. And the first thing I'm going to do is just press out any creases in the satin because once this is combined into two layers, it will be a little more difficult to do that. 
And then after I've done that, I'm going to baste this around the neckline on both the front and back bodice pieces and then sew my shoulder seams. So I just went ahead and pinned all the way around the neckline to secure these layers together. And one thing I want to do before I baste this around the neckline is anywhere that I see one of these little pearls that I know is going to later be caught in a seam allowance, I'm just going to go ahead and remove these and that way I don't have to risk breaking a needle. Now the way these are adhered to the fabric, it's just like this little metal backing. I'm not sure how well you can see that. So it's pretty easy just to slide it out of the mesh. Now any beads that I'm removing, I am going to save for later in case I'm able to reattach them to kind of help hide the seams later on. Okay, so I have all of my layers pinned together and I'm just going to take all of these pieces over to the sewing machine and baste down the neckline and possibly the side seams as well just to make sure everything stays in place. So I didn't realize that my camera had been on low battery, so while I was waiting for it to charge, I did one half of the bodice, and now I'm just going to assemble the other half. So I'm going to start by sewing the side seams and the shoulder seams, and I thought it'd be easier to show you um, what I did for the seams with this side already done. So I did French seams just to keep everything nice and comfortable to wear here on the inside. And that's what I did on the shoulder and side seams. But when I do the sleeve, I will use the serger and that will work out just fine. So I'm going to start by pinning this together with the wrong sides together instead of the right sides together, mixing things up today at the shoulder seams and the side seams. And then I'm going to sew a one quarter inch seam allowance across all of these seams. Then to turn this into a French seam that's nicely concealed to the inside of the project, I am going to trim away the excess seam allowance and then turn everything towards the other side. And this just creates a really nice clean finish that's also going to be comfortable because this outer layer of tulle is a little bit scratchy. So nobody wants that on their seams on the inside of their garment if they're wearing it. So I'm going to sew these seams really quickly and then be back to it. So now I have sewn that little seam allowance, I'm just going to trim this away really close to the stitching without actually cutting the stitching. And then I can turn this towards the inside. And now if I place this with the right sides together, when I sew this little seam, everything that is a raw edge will be encased inside the seam here. Now normally I would take this over to the iron and press this down, but because this fabric is quite delicate, I'm just using my fingers to align it as best as I can. And then I'll press the whole seam here in just a second. So this pattern is drafted for 5 eighths of an inch seam allowances. So my first little seam that I did was a quarter inch and this is just going to be slightly bigger than a quarter inch. Now this may be kind of difficult to see because of the bright white of the fabric, but when you look at the inside of the seam, this is what it looks like. and then. Here's what the outside looks like. So it's a really nice, neat way to seal all of those edges. So I'm going to do the same thing on the side seam now.
Okay, moving on now to the sleeve. I'm a little nervous that this is going to be difficult for you to see, but basically for the sleeve, I have one piece cut out of the embellished tool and then the exact same piece cut out of this softer mesh. And I think this will just make it a little bit more comfortable as well as give the sleeve a little bit more dimension. It looks almost invisible um, as I'm layering this, but it really makes a difference when you see the fabric gathered together. So what I'm going to do first is sew the side seam on my sleeve and add the gathering stitches to the top. So I'm just aligning all four layers of tulle here along the side seam, making sure that nothing is twisted and that it will be fairly easy just to sew the seam. I'm once again doing a French seam here just because this tool is quite delicate and I don't want a bulky line of um, overlocking stitches showing on the inside. sleeve. So now what I'm going to do is create a loop from some elastic that I've measured to be the right measurement to be comfortable for the bottom of the sleeve. I'm just going to use a zigzag stitch to sew this together and then I'm going to apply the elastic to the bottom of the sleeve a couple of inches from the edge of the sleeve and then I'm going to come back and trim the tool so that it's really even. elastic added you can start to see the style of the sleeve a little bit more I'm going to go ahead and pull together these gathering threads on the top of the sleeve just so I can see the shape a little bit better and then I will trim the excess from the bottom here I want to leave a little bit of a ruffle but not too much so I'm just going to compare to what I did on the other sleeve and make sure everything looks even then I can go ahead and sew the sleeve to the bodice Okay, my second sleeve is ready to go, and this is pretty simple to add to the bodice. I'm just going to sew this in like I would normally with any other sleeve. So I'm just going to match this together at the side seams and then adjust the gathers to be nice and even all the way around. I am making sure, again, to remove any beads that will be caught in the seam allowance. As I'm doing that, sometimes I am noticing that it kind of tugs at the tool a little bit, so I'm just making sure that anywhere that I'm doing that will be concealed within the um, seam allowance so that I'm not risking damage to the garment. So now I'm just going to go sew all the way around the armhole with a 5 8 of an inch seam allowance and then use my serger on the edge. So I'm pretty much finished with the bodice. I just have to add the neckline casing because this neckline does have a drawstring 
that helps the fit a little bit. And then I also need to add gathering stitches to the bottom of the waistline here. But I'm going to set this aside for a little bit and get working on the skirt. Now the skirt design for this particular dress has four panels, so two in the front, two in the back. But for this design with the fun tool, I am going to do it in three different layers. So there will be one layer that is the satin lining, then one layer that is that softer mesh, and then the third layer will be the embellished tool on the outside. And I think that will just give it a little bit more dimension to have the middle layer of mesh So we're going to try that and see how it works So I have a lot of panels to sew together because of those three layers and the four panels on each one So I think what I'm going to do now is get some tea get a snack turn on a movie and just start assembly lining all of these panels And I will check back in with you soon So I have been sewing together the panels and I have all of the embellished tool and also the mesh panels sewn together, but I'm starting to get the sense that I want another layer of the beaded fabric on this and I want to gather it. This design is this um, panel type of design, so it's not super full and I think to get the right effect with this fabric, I need to add a gathered piece. So thankfully I have a bit of leftover fabric that is just the right length. So I'm just going to gather this and add it to the top and we'll see how it looks. Okay, so here is where I am stopping for this evening. My movie is just not over, so I'm going to stop for now. I gave the dress a little bit of a trim on the length after trying it on. My sister and I are around the same height, so it should be okay. You can tell it's very crooked, but just kind of getting some of that more um, bulky amount of fabric away. And I think I'm really glad that I added the extra layer of the beaded tool. It just looks a little bit better, I think. So I'm excited about it. I just have the neckband to add and then the zipper and then the final trim on the length. So it's really coming together. Hey friends, so it is now the next day and I'm ready to get back to this dress project. I'm running into a suitcase behind me. So the first thing I'm going to tackle today is the neckline and then I just have to add the zipper and then even out the hem. I think I said this yesterday, but I did trim it away a little bit, but I just want to make sure everything's even and then hem the under layer. So I'm going to try and get this done in the next two hours.
So I've gone ahead and added the drawstring casing here. I was at a little bit of a loss as to what to use for the drawstring on this design because I don't want anything that's going to detract from the kind of light nature of the fabric. So what we ended up deciding to do is use a little bit of the plain mesh and then I just cut this into some ribbons. So I'm going to go ahead and add this and we'll see how it looks. Hopefully it'll be really pretty. Okay, I think it looks almost invisible, but it kind of just blends in with the rest of the dress and I hope that will be really nice when I see everything as a whole. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the zipper. Ooh, but I forgot I need to run this edge under the serger really quickly. So I really quickly just trimmed off any excess length from the lining material. I decided to make this a length of 23 inches and then I just did a narrow hem. And now I'm going to trim and even out all of my tool layers. So what I think I'm going to do is make these two layers a half of an inch longer than this inner layer and then this one a full inch longer just to give a little bit more dimension. So I'm going to go ahead and start trimming these and get everything evened out. Then all I have left to do is a little bit of handwork to finish everything off. So the dress is done and Jess is on her way to try it on. So I'm so excited to see what she thinks of it. The only thing that we may need to do is just adjust the length a little bit once she gets here. So I'm super excited. I hope she loves it. since I actually finished the dress and Jessica has graduated now. I am so, so proud of her. She got her degree in finance and got straight A's, 4.0, all of the things. So she's just brilliant and I'm very proud as her big sister. But I wanted to show you guys the jewelry that Anna Luisa sent over for her and the pieces that she picked out to go with her dress. One thing that I love about Anna Luisa jewelry is they always send their pieces in these cute little cases and these are fabric and really high quality so if you want to travel with your pieces it's a nice way to do that now all the pieces she picked out are gold and they go really beautifully with the gold and pearl tones of the dress so first up is this necklace this one is so pretty it's just a very simple little crystal pendant very dainty and i think that is so her style she looks really good in these dainty pieces and that's what she likes to wear 
And then she also got this matching pair of earrings, which are so pretty. I love the little drop on these. These are similar to some that I have that are like a moon and stars. I think I was wearing at the beginning of the video and I love that style. And then the last piece that she chose is this little pair of pearl huggy hoops. And I actually have these myself and wear them all the time. They're one of my favorite pairs of earrings, but I think all of these pieces go perfectly with the dress. So we're going to do a little bit of photo and video today so you guys can see the whole look because at graduation, it was kind of all covered up with a robe. So we'll take some photos and videos for you guys to see, but I'm just so excited about how the dress turned out. She loved it. And it was just a really fun experience to get to create that for her. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process, but that is going to be it for this video today. I will probably cut to a little bit of me and Jess chatting as well. So here is my lovely sister, Jessica. Hi. Say hi to the <laughs> subscribers. Hello. So this is her dress. How do you like it? I love it so much. It was exactly what I wanted. Yay. Yay. That's what I like to hear. I was a little bit nervous that it wouldn't be quite right. No, no. Yeah. It's hard to execute somebody else's vision, but she had the whole design in mind for the dress. So I just kind of tried to make it come to life, but I love this fabric so it's much. It's just so, so perfect. fun and pretty. And then how do you like your new jewelry? I love it. I've been like seeing Anna Luisa for so long and have not bought any. So I was so excited. It's so pretty. <laughs> it's so and dainty. I feel it's like so it dainty, yeah. goes with your style. Because you can't really like, I feel like this dress would get overwhelmed if you put any bulky jewelry with mm -hmm. it. So this is just perfectly like simple and elegant. And I'll get a lot of wear out of these. Yay. Sure. Yeah. And the dress is almost like jewelry itself yes, because of all yes. of the beading. So I think it's the mm -hmm. perfect compliment. Yeah, so. for sure. Yay. Yay. Success. <laughs> I almost slapped you. No, you're good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and congratulations on your graduation. Thank you How does very it feel much. to be done with school? Amazing. Everyone in college, just wait. You got it. You can do it. You can yes. do it. It's yes. amazing. <laughs> when you're so open. proud of me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I'm glad Jessica could join me for this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll talk to you in anyone very, very soon. <laughs> Bye. Well, thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel. And thank you again to Anna Luisa for sponsoring today's video. Be sure to check them out at the link down in the description box. I know you will love their jewelry as much as I do. Now my teaching semester is over, so I am so excited to be back on YouTube a little bit more regularly. I have several videos that are already filmed and I just need to edit and get uploaded. So I'm really looking forward to seeing you more often this summer. Thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel today. And I'll talk to you in a new video very, very soon. Bye.